Hi guys, welcome to Muzi Academy. And uh, how are you guys doing today? And uh, it's been a long time right here on Muzi Academy, and I'm back for good. Today I'll be looking into questions on GC 2022 mensuration match question. So there are 50 set or 60, I don't know, for the GC OBJ question, which is the only question given to the student. The theoretical form of questions are all like the booklet. So I don't have that, so I won't be doing that. I'm only going to be focusing on the OBJ. And for now, I'm not going to be doing it in one shot because of the length of the video. I'm going to be doing it bit by bit. So for instance, I'm going to be focusing on the mensuration, what you call guys called circuit theory body diagram first. And later I might pick some other six, because yeah, I have six questions just to tackle. And have it on the back of your mind that all these questions are going to be done in a quick time and also I'm going to be making sure I explain a bit. If you want the full concept on circuit theorem, you can search the channel and try to study at your own pace. So let's see how we're going to follow or solve questions on this. The first question I have is on this. As I think I'm, I'm good to go. We have uh, in the diagram, this is a diagram, O is the center of this circle, that is O there. Of the circle PQR, if measure of angle if reflex, or well, the measure of angle of the reflex QOR is 290. This is the reflex angle you can see that sign right there. Find the measure of angle QPR. So you should also keep in mind that you are talking about middle angle when angle is written in this form. So if you have QPR, not uh, the Queen Park Rangers, you are looking for this type QPR, this type. Then that is what you are looking for. So I don't think this is a big D. What you just need to understand is that when you talk about reflex, you are talking about a complete angle at a point, which is always given as 360. So in there, you have a complete reflex, which is 360 at that point. 290 is up there. What do you have left? I am not going to solve anything in this question. It's just a concept understanding. So if I have 290, everything is 360. So remainder. This is, if I'm not mistaken, 70. So that's that. So how did I come about that theorem? Reflex, angle at a point, 360 degree. Very simple. So now let's go back to the simple logic. We are looking for angle at P. So we can now see solution. Nothing to write. I just want to write that. We'll be given us we have uh, angle at the center. Everybody should know this. Angle at center. So this is common is equals to two times angle at circumference. Circum. So I'm not going to waste time. Like I said, the center now is now 70, which is, that means this guy is 70. Is now equals to two times, two times the angle at our P are going to be, which we are looking for. So making P square formula is 70 by two. Everybody knows this is 35 degree and I think that is the right answer to that. So add me please the next question. Thank you my dear admin. It's been a long time. Thank you very much for always being here. Now I love this. This is also the same thing. You can see this is a question like I do say when you follow my full course for those that are work with me online when I talk about a personal class uh, for home tutorial and stuff like that I take them online. I have actually let them understand that there are some areas in which GC we ask questions. And if you can focus on those areas, you are not going to have problems. So, I would say that this is also the same concept on what we just talked about. Center circumference. Also. So, I won't be wasting time. This time around, I'm going to use the red. Diagram O is always the center of this circle. If measure of angle PQR is 114. So, guys, this is 114 for you guys to see. That guy is 114. So now, find the measure of angle PQR again, PQR, the middle angle you focus on. So this is the middle angle, this is the middle angle, that's the middle angle. So now, you can complete this diagram if you are still having any use understanding the center and the circumference stuff. So guys, remember, we did something like a reflex now. So let's do the same thing, solution, or solution, no time. We have solution and from solution here, let's get the remaining angle. I told you about this in the other time. 
if they had just now. So getting the median group up here, guys, it will be 360 minus 114. So you can just write remaining angle, remaining angle will be 360. That's not what I did now, minus 114. I don't have calculator. And I believe you can do, you can as well do it. So we can say 10 minus 4 is 6, 5 minus 1 is 4, 3 minus uh, this is uh, 3 minus 1 is 2. Oh, it should be 146, I guess. No, 246. So that guy up there is 246. So what we want to do now is now follow the theorem we just used now. So up there, guys, this guy here and this column here is 2. Should I write it like this side? 46 degrees. I hope you can see. It means that angle at the center. O is the center of the circle. And you were told just now that angle at center, angle at center is equal to 2 times sacrum. Angle at sacrum. I just abbreviate that. So what do we have now? We are looking for Q, which is at sacrum. The center is 2, 4, 6 is equals to PQR yet again, 2 times Q. This time around, I'm just write like that. Q is equals to 2, 4, 6 divided by 2. Everybody knows, measure of angle Q, we give us 2, 2 is 1, 1, 2 and 4 is 2, and this is 3. 120 degree, degree would be the right answer to the question. That's choice A, guys. So, I mean, can stylishly move to the third question too. Thank you, dear admin. Like I said, DC questions love testing you, particularly or mainly about uh, questions on uh, the same concept. So again, we have it again. You can see these are questions from DC. The question is very heavy. I can show you. They are being picked from what I said. And uh, this is it, you can see. All those questions are from just completed DC examination. And I'm doing them because I want you guys to see that it is kind of very simple when you know what you're doing. Now, back to what we are actually doing here. This is a black bio. So now this is also the same thing. Maybe I shouldn't read now. We just solve the question. Apologies for all those noise, surrounding noise. I have in the diagram, P is the center of the circle, M N R S. So P is the center there, you can see the position of P. Fine. And the measure of angle MSR, MSR, ice is 52 there, which is at the circumference. So the same concept, find the size of the reflex. That means it's going to be a big angle. You know, I told you reflex now, reflex there. The same concept in the same examination. You can see that is what we're talking about if you know what you do. So NPR, where's NPR? M, P, R. So we are looking for up here. Up, 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 up there. So M, P, R. We have, we have told you it's only going to be the middle angle. So M, P, R is what we are looking for. So looking for M, P, R directly, we can also write solution. So our solution from here can directly be, as you can see, now 52 is at the circumference. The same concept. Now center, we have stated that an angle at center is equal to 2 times circumference. I don't have time, that's why I'm just writing 2 times circum. So we can now say from here that uh, the angle at the sun center, if you don't know this time around, that is P, angle P, is now equal to 2 times circum now is 52. 52 choose uh, 804 degrees. So that is angle P. Remember, the question asks you for the reflex of MPR. That is the one on top. So if under is 104, just like this, it's 104. What will be the one on top? When you know everything, there is 360. So what do you do? Subtract. So therefore, reflex, that's the way you write. Well, you don't need all this, it's OBJ. So because we are solving, we have to write it. Reflex MPR is now equals to. 60 minus 104. Answers should be in degree, and you can see if by ND6 will be the answer. So this guy will be correct 256 degree. So 
So that is how to do things like this. So you don't need to waste time. Next one, I think I'm almost there. This is question four. Am I right, Adrian? So four is now a little bit of now, no more circle, I guess. And this is triangle. So triangle concept, same thing, same concept. But the only thing is, just have it at the back of your mind that uh, this is going to test you on some theorems of tri triangles. So basic theorems of triangles is what we need to check now. Now, the first basic theorem of triangle I will talk about is uh, angles and triangle is 180 degree. For isosceles triangle, the base angle are equal. Those two theorems are what I'm going to use in this question. So, the first one. Now, about this first question, we can check this out. In the diagram, measure of length PQ is equal to PR is equal to RS. And measure of angle RPS, this guy is 32, is equal to 32. Yes, you is 32. So equality are there, and that is the isosceles triangle I'm talking about. So this guy is the base, this guy is the base. So triangle R, P, S, or P, R, S is an isosceles. Triangle P, Q, R is also an isosceles. This is the base also for this guy, and this is the base for this guy. So isosceles triangle, base angle R equal. This guy is 32, this guy will be 32. That is just the first thing we're talking about. So I saw triangle always have base angle equal, and it's simple. So if you don't know how to get the outside angle here, we say a stereo angle is always equal to two sum of two opposite interior angles. So I can say angle R is 32 plus 32 is 64. So directly these are things you should have learned. But if you still don't know that, you can use your triangle and your blend in junior classes. What is that triangle rule? The triangle rule is this. The triangle rule states that uh, the sum of angle in triangle is 180. So we've talked about angle S and P are equal because they are isosceles. So you can now say, therefore, what you know, therefore from here I can say, for fine, angle R, the only angle in this triangle, we now give, you can now say angle R plus 32. You know, it's a long way, but no, now we stand it. It's what it is equals to 180. When you solve this, you say r equals to 180 minus 64, which you know. r is equals to what's 180 minus 64? 116 or 1 whatever. I think it's 116, 116. Okay. So this third angle you have to complete this triangle is 116. Then you now now say sum of angle on a straight line. So to get the outside angle. So what is 116 minus 180? 64 again. So that is how I come about this. Is T. So I believe you get that. So now fine. I'm not even going there because I have two that this angle is also equal to this angle. So the examiner asked me to look for this angle. Very simple. Triangle P Q R. 64, 64. I am looking for that. I think it's simple now. So what do you do? Angles in both triangle is what? One is. So you now say conclusively or in conclusion, it will be from triangle P Q R. You have uh, B, you don't know, plus 64, plus 64, must be 180. That's sum of angle in triangle, in triangle. I hope you guys are getting this. So now, finally, I can say P angle will not be equals to 180 minus, this is 128. If I'm not mistaken, yes, I think I can't. So and this guy is going to be 52 degree. It's definitely going to tally with one option there. That is right to the body. If you solve it right, the answer will always be there. Yes, you can make a mistake and you can check. So guys, DDD is correct. The next one. Thank you very much. Now, the next one, the last but one penultimate question for today. We are asked to find the value of X in this diagram. Also, from the question I talked about. So in this one of the theorem here, and you teach students, in classroom, online and offline classrooms, there are the direct shortcuts when you are given three angles inside a line. So all questions on geometry or whatever you call it, if you like, you say circle theorem, everybody just call everything circle theorem. I like the circle theorem, but it's always triangle theorem. Everything is theorem, theorem, theorem. So it is not hard. So now, when you have angles that are in, inside a line, there's this law logic I call middle angle. Yes, if you have attended my class either online or offline, I'm talking about personal classes, you understand that is for those who are taking personal classes 
or in tutorial as well. So I do tell them about this shortcut, it works and it's very fast. When I'm using inside but a line is what is still. So just concentrate on the middle angle. So I'm going to use the middle angle term. Let me give you the logic. The logic is out of these three angles, one, two, three, three angles. Which of them is at the middle? The middle one is this guy. One thirty six. So what do I do? I'm going to bring out one thirty six is equals to the sum. The middle angle is equals to the sum of two other angles at the extreme end. So what are the two other angles that is at the extreme end? 5x plus 3x. So that is the logic. You can see. So simple sometimes. I think this is better than saying you want to complete one side, you want to move one side to one side, or you want to make it a shape that will make sense. So this is better. Middle angle theorem. So on understanding this, you have 1 this is, is equals to 8x. So x is equals to 136 divided by 8. I don't know, but I think my answer will be 17 degrees. Because I know 8 sevens are 56. And this is the only alphabet, or the only options that we end with 6 here. You can see my logic. I want you guys to be using that as well. Next, last question for today. Thank you, Admi. I really appreciate your time. I'm solving this one now. So the last question for today, and... Uh, the last but not the least, the way people do call it. So I hope that thing will not break the way I just drop it. <laughs> so in this diagram, PQ, length PQ, you locate PQ yourself, is parallel to length Kinyel, length RX. So as you can see, PQ is parallel to RX. You have to find the value or the size of the angle mark X. So it's also simple, angle mark X, angle mark whatever, how many angles are there? Three angles. I can apply my middle. But this time around, if I ask you a question, which one is at the middle? You might be it might be difficult for you because the what the power the two other angles are outside the line, as you can see, and they are close to each other. So and I can see something that looks like a triangle here. So I can always think of how to bring these other angles there nice to this place. And that is my first thinking. Understand not that I cannot apply middle angle, yes, I can, I can do that as well. But for understanding, so the best way because I'm having two types of work, lines that are intersecting here. So, and when lines are intersecting or parallel lines, if this guy is 52, solution now, this guy is also 52. What do you call the angle? Corresponding angle are equal. So, if this guy is 52 here, this guy under it is 52. What do you call that one? Vertically opposite angles are equal. So I'm only doing what you guys actually know. I'm pretty sure you know all these things. It's just that most of us, you know, because of one one thing or the other, we are not used to all these things. So this is what I just show you guys. I have this guy and I have this guy. Elementary stuff. One line is intersect, you have what they call vertically opposite angles, and that is exactly what I'm showing you here. Up here was 52. So I say down here will be 52. Vertically opposite angle. So this is also applicable. This is only applicable when lines are intersecting. And as you can see there, they are intersecting. So you can see that I have actually brought 52 down to where it belongs. So it's now simple for me to now say, okay, fine. Here's a triangle in here. The triangle in here is, uh, I just want to show you, it's the last piece. So. I'm just sorry about the distractions. Yes, yes, yes. So the triangle now that I have is something like this. Then I can say I I have 52. I have X and I have uh, 35. So maybe we should leave that for you guys to finish. You are looking for the angles. What do you do? Add 52 plus 35. That's 77. Something like this would be your answer. So minus one eight. So I think you guys understand this. So guys, if you find anything interesting, or, or you are a kind of, uh, let me say, someone who actually need help in mathematics, physics, and chemistry, you might uh, consider subscribing to my channel or send the mail to me at uh, mostyacademy at gmail.com. I'll see you guys on soon. Don't forget to continue to work. To aim up. Bye for now. Thank you.